From silver foxes with perfect abs to Hollywood stars aging like fine wine, these hottest zaddies over 40 have earned their accolades for all the right reasons. Oscar Isaac has been acting professionally for roughly two decades, even before he graduated from Juilliard in 2005. He followed up his breakout role in 2013's Inside Lewin Davis with award-winning performances in Ex Machina and Show Me a Hero. Isaac's career truly exploded thanks to his acclaimed work in TV projects like Scenes from a Marriage and Moon Knight, and roles in big-budget films such as Dune and the latest Star Wars trilogy. As a result, he's quickly become one of Hollywood's most in-demand zaddies. Recent headlines have only confirmed that Isaac is, in fact, a zaddy. An October 2022 piece on Pride.com proclaimed zaddy Oscar Isaac loves RuPaul's Drag Race and even has a drag name. Meanwhile, a July 2022 article on Just Add Color claimed, fans want Hollywood to embrace Oscar Isaac's hot Professor Zaddy era. With his sexy salt and pepper beard, adorable wavy hair, and general good looks, Isaac could wear anything, but he loves to take risks with fashion. He even has a penchant for wearing skirt suits to movie premieres and special events. Given that Isaac told Chinese media outlet ET Today that he was fine with fans calling him daddy, we imagine he'd be fine with Zaddy too. In May 2018, Men's Health claimed that actor James Marsden was having a moment, but fans had been gaga about the man for years. A one-time Versace model, Marsden was destined for stardom. While he was named Elle's Man of the Week back in 2013, the star of The Notebook has been acting since 1993. Whether playing a mutant superhero in X-Men or a literal prince in Enchanted, he always makes a strong impression, and not just because of his piercing blue eyes or sculpted jawline. The fact that Marsden looks pretty much the same as he did a decade ago has also not gone unnoticed and has prompted outlets to call him eternally youthful. I was offered a role in Magic Mike. Marston has been referred to as a zaddy by BuzzFeed and can make a best dress list even if he is simply wearing jeans. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the Dead to Me star credited his stylist for his good fashion sense, but the way he wears those clothes screams self-assurance, earning him the ultimate accolade of zaddy. After Chris Evans wore a Percival polo to the Lightyear premiere in June 2022, it sold out online within hours, which is ultimate zaddy behavior. With the ability to appeal to both women and men alike, Evans is both relatable and aspirational all at once. Chris Evans first came to people's attention when he starred in the satirical Not Another Teen Movie. He later achieved worldwide fame when he appeared as Johnny Storm, aka The Human Torch, in the Fantastic Four films in the mid-aughts. But none of that could have prepared us for when he was cast as Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Evans has proven his acting chops extend beyond superhero fare with roles in projects like Defending Jacob and Knives Out. But it's his off-screen persona that really makes people swoon. Every imaginable outlet has covered his style, and people was spot on when they named Evans 2022 Sexiest Man Alive. All hail Captain America, a total zaddy. Apparently it's me, according to my mom. Everyone knows John Hamm is a major zaddy, so it's no surprise that Jezebel listed him on their 2017 list of Hollywood zaddies. If anything, Hamm has only gotten hotter and more charming since then. Hamm's breakout role was playing Don Draper on Mad Men in 2007. At first, it was unclear whether the actor himself had the same charm and swagger as his character, but in the years since, it has become alarmingly clear that Hamm is extremely charismatic and dapper in real life. Do you want me to leave you alone? Just say so. Thanks to roles in projects like Bridesmaids and Tag, we now know that Ham is also freaking hilarious. Alongside his impeccable comic timing, Ham's looks landed him on Harper's Bazaar's 50 Hottest Men of All Time list. While the man can wear a suit better than most, he is also known for his casual wear, and in particular, the way that it leaves little to the imagination. Just like Cosmopolitan's piece on Ham's impressive bulge, the internet is filled with photos and comments analyzing this zaddy's very obvious assets. Fan consensus is that Jensen Ackles, best known as the star of Supernatural, is a giant zaddy. For instance, a Nerdist video called Jensen Ackles is a Zaddy has had over 2.7 million views on YouTube. Plus, on a BuzzFeed poll with nearly 50,000 votes, 61% of respondents declared Ackles a Zaddy, making his status all but official. Ackles has been on television for more than half of his life, starting with small guest roles and then a plum job on Days of Our Lives. Today, he is widely known as one of television's hottest men, thanks in large part to his smoldering stare. If you need further proof, Ackles was named TV's sexiest male star for both 2020 and 2021, according to People Magazine reader polls. In a 2022 Nerdist video, alongside with two of his The Boys co-stars, Ackles revealed that he'd only just learned what the term zaddy meant, saying, uh, It's like hot dad, right? The three co-stars determined that Ackles, or at least his character on The Boys, was indeed a zaddy, and fans most definitely agree. Boris Kojo began acting in 1995 and quickly started stealing hearts with his good looks. His film credits include Medea's Family Reunion and two Resident Evil films, but Kojo is best known for his work on the small screen. 
Kojo has also been a series regular on shows such as Real Husbands of Hollywood, Soul Food, and Station 19. This role has earned Kojo the nickname Fire Zaddy, which is so popular that even the show's official social media accounts use it. Kojo landed a place on People's 50 Most Beautiful list back in 2002, and we think he has only gotten hotter with age. He has a sculpted jaw, a winning smile, and rocks a bald head like few others can. As Hello Beautiful noted in a 2020 Facebook post, Boris Kojo is giving us all the zaddy feels with his graying beard. It would be blasphemous to make a list of the hottest zaddies over 40 and not include Tom Hardy. Hardy was relatively unknown before he made his film debut in the 2001 Ridley Scott movie Black Hawk Down, and his profile has been steadily rising since. The definition of swagger, Hardy is equally as impressive in interviews as he is on screen. Hardy also has great style, which GQ has praised for its versatility and uniqueness. While Hardy is absolutely a zaddy, we are hardly the first to call him one. In 2017, both the New Zealand Herald and Jezebel included him on their list of hot zaddies. That same year, he was also featured on Metro's 10 Hot Zaddies from Across the Pond. Whether he is walking down the street in workout wear or rocking the legend premiere's red carpet with his dog, Hardy is a certifiable zaddy of the highest order. Asking whether Jason Momoa is a zaddy is like asking if the sky is blue or the grass is green. Momoa has such confidence and raw sexual energy that it doesn't even matter what he wears. In fact, in 2022, he made the news for wearing nothing more than a loincloth in various Instagram stories and photos. He subsequently went on Jimmy Kimmel Live and stripped down to show off his famous loincloth, which was actually a traditional Hawaiian clothing item called the malo. Nothing screams confidence like a 6'4 man spinning around on national television to show his buttocks off to the world while wearing what is essentially a thong. Unsurprisingly, we are not the only ones who have noticed Momoa's zaddiness. On their 2017 list of zaddies, Jezebel called him an unfair specimen. Even Netflix labeled Momoa a zaddy in a social media promotion for the 2021 film Sweet Girl. Momoa achieved worldwide fame by way of his roles on Game of Thrones and in the maligned Conan the Barbarian, but he is now best known for playing Aquaman in various DC Extended Universe projects. When LEGO unleashed a life-size Aquaman based upon Momoa, Mashable called it zaddy material. If even your LEGO likeness is hot, you know you've got it going on. Matt Bomer has a face like a Ken doll and a body for Magic Mike. The Missouri-born actor first started in theater and soap operas, but became better known for his primetime work in shows such as Chuck and White Collar. Since then, he has only continued to increase his fan base, with acclaimed work in miniseries like The Normal Heart and his work with Ryan Murphy, including American Horror Story, The Boys in the Band, and American Horror Stories. He has plenty of other credits, too, as one of Hollywood's leading gay zaddies. Always have a safe word. While outlets like British GQ have crafted features on Bomer's incredible style, Instinct Magazine was quick to call the actor a zaddy. With a smile that could disarm even the most reluctant fan, Bomer's innate sexual energy is palpable and has steadily secured him the title of zaddy. Ryan Reynolds is apparently every straight man's gay crush. The Urban Dictionary entry for the actor makes this very clear, and TikTok is swimming with videos that seemingly confirm it. Basically, the internet is a flutter with talk about how Reynolds is so appealing that no one can resist him, and we certainly get the appeal. He is attractive, stylish, and charismatic. He loves his wife so much that a clip of him looking at her at the Met Gala made headlines. Plus, the man is incredibly funny. Reynolds was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 2010, and his response revealed his trademark sense of humor. Speaking to the outlet, the Just Friends star said, "...the most difficult part is going to be organically working this title into a conversation with random strangers. This gives my family entree into teasing me for the rest of my life." Reynolds has also been declared one of Hollywood's best-dressed men by British GQ, one of the 50 hottest men Hollywood has ever seen by Harper's Bazaar, and one of the world's sexiest men by radio station Heart 96107. Fashion magazine named him a zaddy in 2020. And we most definitely agree. Thanks to his wife Kelly Ripa, we know just how great of a father, husband, and lover Mark Consuelos is. This alone does not qualify him as a zaddy, but couple that with his stunning looks, distinguished air, and enchanting personality, and you have one fine zaddy. Consuelos also spent years on Riverdale, a TV show filled with hot, shirtless men, and even his wife calls him daddy in her posts about him. According to Ripa, Consuelos often cannot fit into his clothes due to how much he works out and the size of his muscles. This does not surprise us in the slightest, because the actor loves to share a thirst trap on social media. His body is immaculate, but so is his sculpted jaw and perfect smile. We 100% understand why he was voted one of People Magazine's sexiest silver thirst traps in 2021, even though he has no gray hair. 
Idris Elba has been listed on just about every zaddy-focused list over the years, and Essence once devoted a whole article to reasons to love Elba. Even Fox News, an outlet that is not really known for the sort of content, added him to their list of Hollywood zaddies in October 2022, where they noted the term's frequent use in conjunction with Elba's name on social media. While Elba will sadly never get to play James Bond, fans have been dreaming about the possibility for a long time. Elba's role on The Wire was his first big gig in the United States, and he has given award-nominated performances in projects such as Beasts of No Nation, Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, and Luther since then. Elba has star quality in spades, and his good looks earned him People's Sexiest Man Alive title in 2018. As he told the outlet at the time, I was like, come on, no way, really? Looked in the mirror, I checked myself out, I was like, yeah, you are kind of sexy today. John Legend is one of the hottest men in music today, but don't take our word for it, let's look at the facts. For one, Legend was People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 2019, a title he wholeheartedly deserved, yet played down with expected modesty. He was also listed on Harper's Bazaar's list of the 50 hottest men of all time in 2018, and he has grown exponentially hotter since then. Another part of Legend's appeal, in addition to his good looks and his cute personality, is his incredible talent. The man has won all of the big industry awards and is part of the Very Small EGOT Club, the name given to those who have won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Finally, his fashion sense is amazing, and he can seemingly wear any outfit, no matter how unconventional the color, pattern, or material. Legend once told British GQ that he is always conscious of how he looks, even when going to the grocery store, and that comes across whenever we see this dapper zaddy. Pretty much every man who has ever played James Bond has been at least a low-level zaddy. Because of that, Hollywood's hottest zaddies get thrown out as possible new Bond stars all the time, and that includes Luke Evans. Sadly, Evans will likely never be cast as the sexy spy, despite many fans suggesting he'd be perfect in the role. Even if we never get to see him suit up as our favorite movie spy, Evans has been serving zaddy realness in films for years. He even made Gaston in Beauty and the Beast somewhat sexy, which is hard to do. Off-screen, Evans is never shy about highlighting his physical assets. Like like his square jaw, toned arms, or ripped abs. A fan of the thirst trap, Evans also loves posting content of himself working out or shirtless. And just like most of the hot zaddies on our list, Evans looks just as good covered up as he does half undressed. According to a Vanity Fair article published in 2014, Gerard Butler spends only five minutes getting ready to leave his house. While he is not necessarily as polished as most of the other men on our list, it is his rough-around-the-edges, unrefined vibe that makes him so appealing. Couple that with a fantastic sense of humor and a laid-back attitude, and throw in that Scottish accent, and you have a big ol' zaddy. British radio station Heart 96107 named Butler one of the sexiest men around, and we have to agree. In Scottish, Gerard. Get it, get it. Butler has always given off zaddy vibes, but there was no questioning it by the time he broke our hearts in P.S. I Love You. That was a decade and a half ago, and Butler has been a bona fide zaddy since. Remaining humble about his sex symbol status, Butler told Metro, My natural response is going to be, well, I don't really see it, but then again, I do. Just on the street sometimes. For anybody to blow it off and dismiss it, they're either insane, or they're just not being honest, or they're being extremely arrogant. We would recognize Joe Manganiello's abs anywhere. The actor oozes sex appeal wherever he goes, and he radiates some seriously intense chemistry with his gorgeous wife Sofia Vergara. All of these things have landed Manganiello on lists of zaddies all over the web. Like a lot of our favorite zaddies, he was also named one of Harper's Bazaar's most beautiful male celebrities of all time. Oh my god, oh, just look at you, you me. are just perfect, damn. Manganiello looks amazing in clothes, but we have also been blessed by a whole lot of his naked body. The actor doesn't post a lot of thirst traps on social media, but he has a tendency to post shirtless for magazine spreads. He has also appeared in various projects, from True Blood to Magic Mike, where he plays sexually magnetic and often naked characters. It would be easy to rest on his laurels, but Manganiello has a laid-back, confident sense of style and a superbly engaging personality, which makes him the full zaddy package from top to bottom. Alexander Skarsgård is so handsome that for a long time, he had trouble getting people to take him seriously as an actor. As he explained to the Sunday Times, after my first job, I was on a stupid sexy hunky hot list, and then people didn't take me seriously. If you want characters with depth but have been labeled the dude who takes his shirt off, you're not going to get those offers. And this was all new to me. I'd never worked with a personal trainer before. Luckily for fans, Skarsgård graduated from surface-level roles and has been able to wow the world with his acting chops in projects such as Big Little Lies and The Stand. Skarsgård Guard dazzles even with clothes on, and he's extremely charismatic, wonderfully funny, and just effortlessly cool. The actor once admitted to the Irish Mirror, "...being a sex symbol isn't important, but I'm not going to pretend I don't love it." 
Chris Pine took the number one spot on Jezebel's 2017 Zaddies list, probably because he has the kind of movie star presence that most can only dream about. With his deep blue eyes and full head of hair, he is certainly not hard to look at either. There's a scene in the film where I am, I, I, I bear the, bear the, <laughs> do the full Monty. One of Pine's biggest saddie qualities is his fashion sense, which is wildly adventurous and incredibly chic. InStyle has praised him for wearing shirts with embellishments, patterns, silky materials, which they call the actor's blouse era. Meanwhile, GQ has swooned over his style choices on many occasions, and even Pine's quarantine looks were praised by outlets, which speaks volumes. And who could forget Pine's dapper appearances during the Don't Worry Darling press tour? Peter Dinklage became a total zaddy and mega sex symbol thanks to his turn as Tyrion Lannister on Game of Thrones. Dinklage himself has said he does not believe the hype, telling Playboy, "...honestly, I think there's an irony in all of this. They'll say, oh, he's sexy, but women still go for guys who are six foot two. It's nice that people are thinking outside the box, but I don't believe any of it for a minute." In response to that Playboy interview, the Houston Press published a piece listing off five reasons why Dinklage is super hot. Vogue has even referred to Dinklage's character Tyrion as a zaddy, which only works because of the actor's talent, humor, looks, and energy. As they say, it's a blessing and a curse. The best thing about Channing Tatum is not his sculpted face or killer bod, which we have seen so much of thanks to the Magic Mike movies. No, the best thing about Tatum is his amazing personality and fun sense of humor, which makes everyone gravitate toward him. He can prank Sandra Bullock on set, and it never comes off as mean, because he has such a great energy and zest for life. Tatum is seemingly always game for a laugh, such as when he guest-hosted Jimmy Kimmel Live and adorably sat on a kid's stool for a skit, or when he performed alongside Beyonce on an episode of Lip Sync Battle. My mom called me Chanimal. It's undeniable that Tatum is also very attractive, as evidenced by him becoming People's Sexiest Man Alive in 2012. Tatum has made a career out of being the lovable hot goof in movies like 21 Jump Street and the sexy love interest in films like The Vow. In 2012, Zaddy Tatum is sensitive, too, and he's released a series of children's books about the love between a father and a daughter, inspired by his own experiences. You have to be one fine zaddy for us to still find you undeniably sexy after we have seen you poop in a suitcase, as Murray Bartlett's character famously did on season one of The White Lotus. Putting that disturbing scene out of mind, Bartlett is also scorching hot whenever he appears off-screen. Basically, it's not hard to see why he's consistently cast as the hunk in shows such as Welcome to Chippendales or as the romantic love interest in The Last of Us. Bartlett is peak zaddy and physical, where he plays a 1980s aerobics instructor who sports tiny shorts and a Tom Selleck-style mustache. While he's clearly a smoke show, what we find sexiest of all is Bartlett's personality. He consistently comes off as humble but confident, with an unwavering sense of self that cannot be compromised by Hollywood. In an interview with The Guardian, he spoke about the struggles of finding work as an openly gay actor, but made it clear that he never felt hiding his identity was an option. The Zaddy told Vanity Fair in 2022, "...I've had an amazing couple of years. My horizons have expanded at a great time in my life. I think I have a decent sense of perspective on the industry and about what's important in life and stuff, so it's kind of nice to have these things happening now." We do not know how Paul Rudd looks basically the same as he did in 1995's Clueless, but we would be hard-pressed to name many Hollywood stars who are aging better. While the man was sexy in his 20s, he is even hotter in his 50s. The best part is that Rudd does not even seem to realize how attractive he is. Even when he is earning titles like Sexiest Man Alive, which people awarded him in 2021, he told the magazine at the time, "...I do have an awareness, enough to know that when people hear that I'd be picked for this, they would say, what? This is not false humility." There are so many people that should get this before me." I feel awful on the inside. <laughs> Rudd is very fit, but he is not super ripped like some other Hollywood zaddies, which has allowed him to slip into roles that are more focused on his everyman vibe. His comedic acting chops have helped him out, too, as has his off-screen personality. Rudd is goofy, self-deprecating, and charming, all of which have helped him make what The Telegraph has called a midlife sex symbol. There was a time when Matthew McConaughey seemingly refused to wear a shirt. It once seemed like the popular actor was always cavorting on some beach or surfing the waves or stretching on a sidewalk. He was even naked when he famously got arrested in 1999 for playing the bongos too loud at 3 in the morning. While he still hits the beach and even shares the occasional shirtless pic on Instagram, McConaughey has shockingly become known for his clothing choices in recent years. McConaughey has always been a gorgeous specimen, but now he is both gorgeous and stylish, which is a winning combination. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> 
McConaughey has made just about every hotness list over the years, and he was named Sexiest Man Alive by People back in 2005. But good looks and nice clothes aren't enough to make someone a zaddy, and McConaughey has the kind of charm and allure that cannot be taught. His charisma leaps off the screen, whether he is acting or simply giving an interview. McConaughey embodies the essential qualities of a zaddy, hands down. 